Hi guys, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in warm but overcast Sydney. Today I'm going to be looking at this piece, working on this piece, and this is going to be for me to keep. I've already done the bedsides that match it and sold them. I don't need those. Um, so now I'm going to give this one a bit of a makeover. Right, let's have a look at it. So, like I say, I've done bedsides that match this, and they were really nice. It's solid wood, really well built. Um, freedom. Uh, the drawers are on runners. They're in sets, but there's plenty of room around them, so I'm not worried about them being um, stuck with paint. I'm going to be painting it so. Put this down here. And that could do with a fix. But to be honest, it's still nice and solid. I'll just sand it and tidy it and paint it. It's only for me, so I'm not concerned. If I was selling it, I would fill that. I might still fill it. I don't know. Um, this is actually perfect, would be perfect for a transfer or a large decoupage, but because I'm keeping it, I don't want that on it. So, <laughs> sorry, it's not happening. So the top is going to be, I'm going to be doing it to match grey bedsides that I did a few weeks ago. Um, I'll link to that video. Oh, look. We need to fix that too. Right, that's chipboard. I can feel it underneath. So this, the side panels are um, veneer. The top solid sides are veneer. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing it to match the bed sides or to fit in with the bed. So it's not going to be the, the exact same colour because it's a colour that I mixed up. But it's just going to be a light grey and on top it's going to be Cats and Millie, how now? Right, let me get stuck in. I'm going to get these drawer pulls off. I might actually just reuse these, scuff them up and put rub and buff on them. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. Right, time to get some sanding done. Do you know what? It feels like ages since I've done a flip. But it's really just last week. I took last week off but we had a bit of a crappy week family wise um because we had some bad news from the uk but moving forward let's get back to work so um i'm using my usual bosch sander can you see that bosch professional gex 125 ave and i'm going to use a 120 grit sandpaper i get these off ebay in bulk a stupid price of about $40 for 250 something like that. It costs next to nothing. Oh, does this need emptying? Right, this is how you empty it, by the way. Yeah, I can feel that's heavy. So when I first got this, I was just trying to empty it through that. Just shaking it. That's not what you do. This bottom part comes off, unscrew it and shake it into the bin. So I'm just going to go and do that and then I'll come back and get sand in. So this one's been a little bit stubborn and you can see the, the definite edge there which is always a good indicator that you've got quite a solid um, lacquer, stain, varnish, whatever you want to call it, on the top. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go down to a 100 grit now. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it makes it, it's not as effective so you just have to play about with that. Um, so I'll carry on with this. I'm only going to be sanding the top. I'm going to be painting the edges like I did on the bedside. Okay, leave this with me. Right, that's the top sanded. Um, I just wanted to show you this drawer. So I said that there's that damage at the bottom there. Well, when I'm taking this drawer out, I can feel that it's, it's a little bit lopsided, so it doesn't need to be fixed because that would drive me nuts. Um, it's still usable so at this point I'm just going to carry on and run with it. I'll get it painted simply because I want it in the bedroom today. We're sorting out the bedroom. This is going to be in there today whether it's got a dodgy drawer or not. So I'm going to get it painted and then probably after some time in the future you know that never happens we'll get that fixed. In the meantime it'll just have to piss me off for a while. I can go with that. Um, 
So now I'm just going to scuff sand it. I'll just quickly go over it. Harper's really clingy, look. What's up, Harps? Actually, I just kissed her, right? What's going on with my hair? So I just gave her a kiss then, but just now she's all clingy. So I took my head into her to cuddle her. And I don't know what she's been rolling in, but it stinks. And I just rubbed my face in it. Come here, Harps. You want to cuddle? This is what she likes to do. Have I shown you this before? Oh, oh see, that's there. It stinks. She, wants, she likes to have massages. She's not messed up at all, is she? Or I'm not. What do you think? She really holds on to me. She's got ter terrible breath, though. She loves her morning massages. Don't you? Okay, oh god, you rank. Okay, jump off now. Right, scuff sanding, let's do it. I can still smell that on me actually. God knows what it is. She likes to um, roll on in dead worms and stuff. Right, I've just got a sanding block and some 120 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to give it a quick scuff sand. On the bedsides, can you see? Hang on. It's got these gorgeous feet. On the bedsides, I actually did these gold. I won't do it on these because it's not gonna go with the bedside, with the ones that I kept. Because I, kept, I didn't keep the bedsides that go with this, I kept a different set. But, um, yeah, they're really pretty. Anyway, quick scuff sand all over like this. Then I'm gonna clean it with white lightning. I think I mentioned before, Cats and Millie have got um, an alternative to white lightning now. And Caprio Shabby Chic are now the stockist of Cats and Millie, which is fantastic because that's just saved me on postage. Harper, you stink. Go away, man. Right, so I'm gonna carry on doing this. I still haven't decided what color I'm going with. I know it's gotta be gray, it's gotta match the bedsides, but I don't know how I'm going to make that because I'd, I'd, mi mi I'd mixed up that colour and I don't have any of those colours to match to mix up with. Go on, I'm rambling. I think the harpist smell is harpist smellies putting me off. Oh, I got new shorts, by the way. Came out real comfy, a little bit longer in the leg, so I'm not being so indecent on these videos. Hope they go well. Right, I'm going to get the rest of this done. I'll come back when I'm doing my cleaning. Oh, Harper, are you going to go for a bath or something? Cleaning time. So this is my pre-mixed Dixie Belle White Lightning. I'll do the same with Carts and Millie when I start using that. But at the minute, I've got about three pots still, I think, of the White Lightning. So I just pre mix it. I've done a video previously showing how I do it. It's not rocket science. Just put some powder and some water. Shake it up. Done. I don't really measure anything, you know that. Uh, so after I've done this, you need to rinse it off <clears throat> with plain water so there's no residue. Otherwise, if there's residue left on there, it can create what we call a resist, which will basically resist the paint from adhering. Um, and then we're good to paint. And Deborah on YouTube has asked that I show me painting more rather than uh, fast forward it. It's a really good point actually, because I just those think, right, this is boring, it's about cheers, carry on going. But I suppose in most cases, that's what people want to watch. They want to see that process. I've got to do something with this here. Okay. Stay. Um, they want to watch that process. So I'll show it a little bit, show how much I put on the, on the brush. I don't really think about it. I just do it. I just throw it on. Sometimes I think you can think too much about this stuff, can't you? Just get it on there. Just get it on. I'm feeling a little bit better this week. Last week was not a good week. I was really thankful that some subscribers created some videos for me to add. It's really helpful for me. Took the pressure off. Not that I feel any pressure, but when, I've got, when I'm doing YouTube videos as well, I feel the need to get 
the videos up for you as well as flip and do customer pieces but sometimes it's hard when you've got other things going on but um yeah today's a i think this is going to be a better week right i'll wait for this to dry clean well, i'll clean it off wait for it to dry then i'll mix the paint see what i got quick tip again it's not rocket science when you take out the drawer pulls and you maybe it is rocket science that's too big anyway there screwdriver into the hole pull it out right so this is the color that i want to recreate this is a little the little care package i put together for the customer that ended up being me because i couldn't get rid of him i couldn't i didn't want him um so this is the color now this was 50 50 um dixie bell silk white cap and dixie bell silk wharf i don't have any wharf left so i'm gonna go with white cap and anchor um so i'm gonna assume that i won't need much of this anchor maybe 20 percent. i don't know let's mix it in and see how we go These girls, Harper, are you driving me nuts? The good thing about these silk paints is that the coverage is great. Bloody hell, I reckon I'm there straight away. What do you reckon? Closest damn out. Yeah, the coverage is great, so I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna prime him. Well I'm lazy, you know that, but yeah, I'm on it straight away. That's close enough for me. Probably got a bit more blue in it than this one has. but they're not going to be sitting next to each other so it doesn't really matter it's got a little bit more fawn in it i reckon what do you think it's close enough in it like that so there you are if you're looking to mix that to get that color white cap and anchor oh, anchor is the black stupid why they and they're black is, no and their charcoal is called black sands so confusing that confused me because i thought i was putting in bloody charcoal anyway i'm happy with that i've got plenty there to do this set so i'm just going to run with it sweet and no paint goes to waste no paint was damaged during this video it's getting a little bit darker when i'm mixing it more in that's tough because i ain't got any more white to put in it is it getting too dark no, it's not. ramble 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 right let's get this on shall we let's get this job done okay right let's see how much of this i can show you so i'm using the sleek 38 brush um i use these mostly for the difficult to get to areas I'll, I'll chop them right down even right to there so it's literally just that that I hold on to and then you sort of can literally hold it right over and I love it anyway here we go so I don't put much on the brush a lot of people when they're trying to get the best coverage you think that means that you put more on the brush it's not the case I don't go that's really thick right straight away that's unreal When you think that that is mostly white there, which you all know I, I don't like, um, that is really thick. I'm going to go and get my spritzer because I'm going to need it back in a sec. Right, so this is my spritzer, Mister. They're called Mister, it's not spritzers. I don't know why I make that name up. Um, so this has just got water in it. And all I'm doing it here, doing here is just giving the, the paint a little bit longer life, working time. Because it's quite thick, this will also reduce your brush strokes. That is crazy coverage. Like I say, when you consider that is mostly white. And yes, I should probably have primed it. But you know, this is for me. The Dixie Bell Silk Paint has got a built-in primer. Um, I believe it'll just block out 
um, like minimal tannins. It's not going to be, you know, if you if you had a piece that you were concerned would bleed a lot, then you're going to want to prime it as well. But this is for me. If I find that it bleeds, I'll just throw some more paint on later. I'll throw a primer on later. I need this in my de in my bedroom today. Right. So this is. Let me show you how much I'm putting on. Literally just dabbing the end of it in. Not all this, just this bit here. Hardly anything, that's really thick. <laughs> really thick. So you'll, you'll find a lot of um, those using mineral paint. See, just this much, just that tip. Um, advise not using water with it. Uh, I've never had any problem. I, I'm, I'm assuming the reason for that would be that you're reducing the quality of the built-in top coat. So you just have to be mindful of that. What it might mean is that you need to put, um, mix in some top coat or something to it <coughs> on the last coat or something like that. But I've never had a problem with it. So this thins it out. It's going to give you better um, work time just by using a spritzer. And it's literally just a spritz. It's not, it's, you know, you don't want the paint running. It's literally just a spritz. And when you're not using it, you can feel that the paint is so much thicker. Some people spray it on their brush too. Whatever works for you. I'm really stoked with this coverage, I've got to be honest. See how strange is that? I hate painting white with a passion. As soon as you throw a little bit of black into it, I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, so this is how I, I like to just spritz it on it. Just put it on the piece rather than on the brush. But it's whatever works for you. But yeah, don't overload your brush. You just a, a little bit. It goes a long way. This paint goes a long way. Like I've got less than half a pot here, and I would anticipate that I'll have leftovers after this. Now this has got some detail in the side. So what I might do is go and get one of my round brushes to make sure I get in there. This is getting in there, but just a little round brush is easier. Feels really thick. Hopefully, you're finding this helpful. I know I always just fast forward this, and I think no one wants to watch that, but I guess some do, and those that don't, they can fast forward it. I won't do this on every video because I think it would get a little bit boring, but Deborah wanted it, and what Deborah wants, Deborah gets. <laughs> Deborah's not in the Facebook group yet. But I'm trying to encourage her to get over there so she can share her projects with us and all her tips because she's got lots of them. Yeah, this is going on really well. But I hear some people panic when a paint is um, quite thick, but you know, just fix it or whatever. Just throw some water in it. As long as it's water based, you can throw some water in, it doesn't matter. It's just paint. Oop, my left. Just throw it in. And it happens. Oh, she's got crap all over her. You need a bath, you little rancid bugger. Right, I'll get on with this now. I think I've shown you enough. I'll get stuck in. Okay, first coat of paint is on. I'm gonna have a go at these draw pulls, see if I'm gonna keep them all up. I don't usually I give these away all the time, but anyway. So what I'm gonna do is scuff sand them up. This is going really nice and quickly actually, this job, which I like. Get me back into the swing of it. sand all these and then I'm gonna use oh these flies are driving me up the wall today honest to god seriously they're relentless they just jump from one part of my body to the next and they don't care what part it is either oh, oh no that was the bag touching me <laughs> 
sensory overload, I think, today. My leg wobbling when I'm doing that. <laughs> this are good. Oh, I almost swore then. But let me get this cloth. Right, just wipe them over now. I'm not going to worry about cleaning them again. Because, uh, well, I'm lazy like that. Let's be fair, it's no secret, is it? And it's just for me, so. So I've not, I haven't used rub and buff on um, wood before. Does it say you can? Oh, who cares what it says? Just going to pretend I was going to read instructions then. Hey, Habs. Right, so what I'm going to do is just put them back on the screws. So I've got little holders. You can put them on uh, things like egg cups. Uh, not egg cups, egg cans. Sort of stick them into that to hold them up as well. But I was going to hold them up one by one. The rub and buff re um, dries really quickly. So I'm not worried about them being sat on this side while they're drying. And I can't be able to make up some sort of stand because, oh, you know, lazy and shit stuff. Oh, man alive. My Welsh accent comes out when I start to get frustrated. Right, let's give this a go. Oh, I might swear under my breath soon or out loud, okay? Just as a, just as a heads up. Right, so this is autumn gold. No, it's not, it's European gold. And this is my little sleek brush. You don't need much. Oh, it's magic stuff this is. The other option is to paint, to spray paint it as well. But I think I've used up all my um, Krylon. And this is the colour that I used on the draw pulls of the ones that I kept. So oh, I'm happy with that. What do you think, guys? Worth a shot? Don't throw these draw pulls out. What do you reckon, Harps? She's sulking now because I told her she's rank. So I think what I'll do is I'll let that dry and then I would like just two two coats now. No, do you know what? I'll just I was gonna say I'll let it dry and then I'll do another coat. Nah, that's too sounds like too much work to me. I'm just gonna put this nice thick coat on, see how that goes. And then I'll come back in a little while and buff it off. Hence the name rub and buff. But I'm gonna put it on the side there because it does dry really quickly. Right, I'll get on with the rest of these. Come back when they're done. So I'm just going on with the second coat now. And just to make sure that I've got enough, I was, I was running a little bit low because it was really thick. And it was probably so thick because I'd sort of left the lid off of one of them while it was, it was sat on the side, so that would thicken it up. Um, so all I've done is just put some water into this. So I'm, I've actually just thinned it out. And it's going on a lot better. So like I said, don't be scared of playing about with the paint. If it's not working how you want it to, just thin it down, do whatever. It's going on a lot better now, and I actually don't need to spritz it. I say that, and then I want to spritz it because I just felt that felt quite thick. But yeah, just if you need to, throw some water in it. Do what you've got to do, and you know it'll last a bit longer. You'll get more coverage out of it, and less breast, uh, brush, <laughs> breast strokes, <laughs> brush strokes. Actually, look at that. That's two coats. And it's pretty much two coats of white with a little bit of black mixed in. I've got full coverage. Does that mean I could paint white again? No, no it isn't. But gray, I can get on board with. Right, that's the body done, all painted. Uh, coverage is really good, I'm really happy with that. And the finish is really nice. So I'm not gonna put a top coat on it. So that's just, two coats of a white and a bit of black and the finish is really good so i'm stoked really stoked right now i need to smooth sand the top and then i'm going to stain it what do i do with the sander there it is so usual sander 
I'm just going to use 240 grit, smooth sand it, tidy up these edges so I don't have to do any taping because you know I hate taping. Get the stain on, which is going to be Character Millie How Now, one of my favourites. And then I'm going to have a go at waxing this top, and I'll show you the wax that I'm going to use because it's one that was given to me by um, a new, new. It's a new product, basically. So I'm going to give it a go. Right, let me get this sanding done. I've just taped the sides because uh, as soon as I started doing the stain, it was going onto the edges because it's a light colour. It's not really any um, any leeway there, so it's easier just to tape them off. Right, let's get this on. So um, it is Carts and Millie How Now, and I'm using the Dixie Bell sponge. Right, so the product I'm going to use is Busy High Revivals Furniture Wax. Um, this was gifted to me, so it's a new product. It's I was basically looking for something that was cheaper than um, Dixie Bell Mama's Butter. This is scented, so I would put this in drawers as well, but it's also good for... Oh, God, it smells so good. Um, also good for sealing furniture, so I'm going to give this a go. I never use wax to seal furniture, so... I'm not going to be doing it with a brush. I don't have a wax brush. I'm just going to use this checks cloth. I'm going to rub it in. And then I'll come back in an hour or so and bump off any excess. Or I might give it a second coat. But um, this is, I actually used this on a coffee table inside last night when I wanted to try it out. And I was really impressed with it. Like I say, I don't really have anything to compare it to because I've never used wax for sealing furniture before. Which may seem strange to some. But I was impressed, so I thought give this a go. So the company, this is in a 100ml pot. Apparently they're going to be making them in 175 and 200ml. I don't know, I'm assuming it's just available in Australia, but I don't know. The website address is busyhiderevivals.com. I love the smell, it smells like Christmas. Orange always smells like Christmas to me. I'm probably not doing this right, by the way, putting this on like this. But you know me, it's not really any right or wrong ways, is there? There's wrong with <laughs> there's doing it and then realizing it doesn't work and then doing something else. That's kind of my the way I roll. And then getting tips from those who comment on the video to teach me. But yeah, I just all I did on the coffee table inside was just rub it on and then a couple of hours later just buffed it off and it was really nice. It wasn't sticky at all. I've got a dog ear in there already. It's good to see. And this isn't gonna get in the beginning a lot of use. But you know, it's not going to be a heavy traffic area because it's just the top of the drawers, so I'm not too worried about it. I could put it on the body as well, I'm not going to because it doesn't need it. But oh, that's nice. What do you think, guys? Nice, eh? Hey? Hmm. Waxing might be my new thing. I'll wait till it dries and then decide if it is. I like it though. Right, let's put this thing back together. Here she is, all staged and ready to go, and I love her. Look at her. I get to keep this one. Again, my phone is throwing more blue than there is. It's light grey, there's no blue phone does my nutting. Draw pulls came, came up so well. So that's Rub and Buff European Gold, wasn't it? I love my little sign that Ellie made me. Wax looks lovely. I'll definitely be using that again. 
really soft smooth yeah so she's coming back in the house this afternoon simple how good has been able to flip your own furniture guys you just change it all the time like daily even it is pretty much daily in my house as well i gotta be honest right i'm gonna get photos and get this in so thanks for sticking with me have a great day please like and subscribe head over to mono lane furniture friends to show me all your um flips give us advice get advice from others and just have a laugh we just have a laugh there okay take care have a great weekend speak to you soon has anyone seen my glasses did i have a one when i did that bit just now oh man i didn't because i remember rubbing my eyes that's it i'm screwed hope i can find my way indoors i'm blind as about without him bye